Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be looking at Windows 8, the developer preview. I mentioned this last week. I was going to get to it earlier, but I had some stuff going on on the car channel. I wanted to talk about this. When you don't see a video here during the um, the week Monday through Thursday, that means I've put one up on the car channel, E39 Source. I'll leave a, a link down below. It's youtube.com slash E39 Source. That's information about the BMW 5 Series. So um, I'm going to go ahead and boot it up here within the virtual machine. I'll show you what it looks like real quick and we'll go from there. This error message is just telling me that the ISO that it's trying to boot from is not actually there uh, and that's fine. It doesn't need to boot into that. It's already been installed. So this is the dev preview. We'll just let it boot in and I'll log into the account that I've created. I've given it half my resources here. Four gigs of RAM and two cores at 2.2 gigahertz. So it's pretty quick. We'll let it log into this account. Okay, I actually had to reboot it there. It got me to the step just before this and then pretty much committed suicide. I'm going to see if I can put it in full screen mode so we can get a better view. Uh, if we click on desktop there, maybe you have to change our resolution. Looks just like Windows 7 from here. I'm going to go ahead and bump that res, see if this will fit virtualized. Apply. That's a little tall. We'll downscale that again so we can see the whole thing or at least more of it. There we go. That looks like it's going to fit. So uh, from our uh, desktop here, it really looks just about like Windows 7. Uh, of course, you click Networks and you get this new interface. We've got two interfaces going on here. We have the Windows 7 Arrow theme, which uh, is, is what all of this looks like. And then we have the, the new Windows 8 theme, whatever the heck that's called, uh, which is over there in the hideous green. But uh, open up a Explorer window, and we now have a ribbon up here. This is something we saw in Office 2007, 2010. Um, and now they've integrated this into Explorer, which is, I don't know, I'm not a huge Windows guy. I use Windows, I know a lot more about Windows than I do about OS X, but uh, I guess you can see everything there. It's most everything that is here is now up there, so you can see it all at one time. And my philosophy is kind of the Apple way. Why have all that crap up there if you don't need it? And when you do need it, it is one click away, and then you select what you want. So why put everything up there and always see it? I don't know. Um, but there it is. So you have this now in uh, Explorer, as well as these different tabs up here. So I guess it is more information. And then the file window there. And it really looks like it's right out of Office. It's just the same uh, idea behind Office 10 and 07. If we come over here to our Start menu, uh, we get this garbage, which quite frankly I don't like. We can go into our Control Panel here. Uh, there are a lot of full screen apps. I wonder where they got this idea. All the stuff on the left maybe from iOS or something like that maybe but there's our notifications we can turn stuff on and off that also looks pretty familiar with iOS it's just a, a more hideous green version of it uh, general information there are some decent animations here I'll give them that they figured that out home group something we had in Windows 7 Windows update something we, we've had for a long time general options I mean these are, this is just our control panel so if we want to go back out of here the only way I figured out is what is it right command key, which would be the right Windows key if you're on a PC. You can go into Explorer from there, news, stocks, uh, there's the weather one. If we click that, uh, it's not the quickest thing, but I am in a VM, so it's going to gather the latest information here. And uh, here we are from Anaheim, California. I don't know why it selected that area, but as you can see, we have some pretty nice graphics going on back there. Uh, we have a weak outlook, we have the UV index, feels like all the weather information you'd need, and that's really cool. However, I don't think it needs to be information that is full screen and forefront. We're not a meteorologist. We just want to see the weather. So I, I don't know if that is uh, necessary to quite take over anything else we're doing and show us this. Nevertheless, cool for cool to look at. Take a look at the store. I actually have not been in here myself. I don't think it's going to be quite as big as the Mac App Store, as, and it's not even available in the developer preview, but I'm sure it will be soon. Stocks, we'll see how badly it was today. I think it was down 400 and, yeah, 391, but, you know, I'll be honest, this is a pretty decent stock graph here. It's a little big. Again, I don't think that we need to see this entire thing, and the horizontal scrolling is a bit awkward, but... Um, I've said it before, I've said it again, I'll say it again, this is uh, all a dev preview, so... Just a, a little uh, preview of what we can expect. Uh, it did come with some applications here, this remote desktop. Uh, honestly, I just really don't like this interface. How um, there's big blocks, there's small blocks. Why? Why are these two small and that one's huge? That just doesn't make sense to me. 
It just seems really unorganized. I didn't like Windows Phone 7, and I don't like this. And I don't like how the desktop is now an application. But uh, one more time, this is the developer preview, not something uh, uh, that is going to be final. Just a little idea. I have not figured out how to shut it down. That's a problem that users may have. Uh, we can lock and log off, change user tile, and add user by clicking up there, but we can't shut down. So I guess we're going to have to click log off first. Maybe it'll take us back to some sort of a welcome screen, and then from there, we should be able to shut down. All right, well, I've been waiting for this forever, and it doesn't look like it's doing anything. I think it's locked up again. Maybe it's my copy. Maybe it's just the fact that it's so early in development, but I'm just going to go up here and... Uh, and kill it with a shutdown. But that's the basic look of what this looks like. Again, it's free to anybody. Anybody can go and uh, download this and install it in a virtual machine and see what they think of it. Make a video response if you've used it or installed it. and Let me know what you think of it so far. As I said a million times, it's way too early to tell what it's actually going to be like. But it just feels um, really early in the stages of development, which it obviously is. But I'm not a big fan of the big merging of interfaces. Maybe they'll uh, better integrate them or make it all the new one, which would be interesting, but uh, Windows 8 is definitely going to be a big change from Windows 7, so leave your thoughts on uh, how you feel about that down below. With that, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow or in a video from next week. Subscribe if you like the channel and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Bye-bye.